It could be a scene from the Middle Ages, worshippers queuing in their thousands to catch a glimpse of the relics of a Catholic saint. But this is London 2009, and even church leaders admit they are baffled by a remarkable outpouring of faith inspired by a 19th century nun. The centre of all the attention is a casket containing the bones of a young Frenchwoman, Saint Thérèse de Lisieux. She spent most of her life locked away in a convent and died of tuberculosis at the age of 24. But the Carmelite nun's vision of a simple, childlike faith in Christianity became wildly popular after her death. Her autobiography has sold millions of copies across the world. Her thigh and foot bones have been on a tour of Catholic cathedrals, the Anglican York Minster and even London's Wormwood Scrubs prison before arriving at Westminster Cathedral. It's estimated around a quarter of a million people will have been to see the relics by the time the tour ends. The Archbishop of Westminster, the Most Reverend Vincent Nichols, admits that even devout Catholics have confessed to feeling a sense of unease at the popularity of the relics in a supposedly secular age. But it is extraordinary to be in the cathedral here and just see this continual procession of people.